even if you're making the passes, it's, it's, it's the ball is, is um, kind of flying very nice. So um, it, this is very also supportive for the game to have a ball uh, supporting the the fast game, starting and not breaking. So the game starting, Vienna with the ball. Team captain Vienna could get the ball from the from the beginning now. Then we have the first find in the middle. Oh, Vienna in favor with the ball, making it to the to the New York basket. But we can see here the massive players of of New York in comparison. But the positioning play of Vienna is good, and they know how to <coughs> play aggressive. Um, yeah. And I don't mean that uh, disrespectful, but they can go really physical into the game. Yeah. And this could uh, put you out of focus if you are the opponent, if the, if, the, uh, if the team you're fighting against is really going for you. So we have a call from the referee. Attack on the head, wide free throw. Free throw against uh, Newark by Vienna. You're watching Champions Cup, Champions Cup 2017 here in Berlin. It's dark and cold outside now, raining, I guess it was raining the whole day or raining the whole night. And we're on the surface, don't know what happened, I don't know what's happening. Ah, New York player broke free, threw the ball down to the bottom and we have now the first attack of New York on the Austrian basket. They're trying to build their uh, attack pattern from the corner. The players waiting. And uh, one player is in front of the basket and try to get into the defense area, but is tackled away by an offense player. And we are still on the close side of the Austrian basket. And uh, Newark is playing back and forth. Now we have a Newark player under the basket and a second one on the, on the open side. Mm -hmm. But uh, Austrian uh, uh, succeeded in kicking the way or pushing away the ball. So it's... Uh, they this lost the good. You have two players here now making the counter and in front of the goal. One is breaking up and going back to the surface and leaving the other player alone who is then attacked. This is not very smart. They made it really no, good. not at that moment. They started really good and then at the end they put out the power, they put out the speed, and then they stop and leave themselves alone. But they're still having the ball. So, fortunately, when, when we come, when we're right, um, we see here now also resting on the surface. Now, Vienna players here with the ball. Vienna's playing very carefully, very calm. They're not they're checking. The it looks pressure, like they're, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're checking New York. Checking out the New York defense where the weaknesses. They try to serve for sur uh, the safer serves, not to put too much effort at the beginning, keeping power, keeping brave, keeping the pulls down, like, because they're not really going into the fight. Try to make someone in good a position, like here, number 14, but almost too side. far, almost too far away. Call from the referee, holding yeah. without ball, so it's a free throw against White New York. <laughs> holding. I also talk, discussed this with, with uh, some other guys before. I was quite wondering how less penalties we have here in the Champions Cup. Was there already one time penalty? I don't know. And even normal penalties we just had. True, not that many. Uh, I don't know if there's a, a change in the, in the referee strategy or if the... Because we, we have here running time, so every, every break would... would um, yeah, it's cost and time. But, but I didn't see this hard play. We, we had, I think, two, three uh, time penalties. Yeah. And not many, uh, I think, did we uh, have yeah, a yeah. in the game one penalty? No. We had it against Bamberg against, against Switzerland. <laughs> ah, yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> the last one. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of the Austrian guys tried to put his arm between the goalkeeper mm. and the goal and um, causing a little interruption here. And now Austria is going first time really into the basket. The yeah. heavy guy is trying to push away the goalkeeper, but uh, the ball was uh, pulled out by Newark and they try now to break free through the uh, offense uh, forechecking of uh, Austria. 
And this was a pass, a difficult, dangerous pass. And then now the Colombian player is... Well, no, it's not Colombia. <laughs> yeah, but it's very nice, a swimming line. Yeah, that's it's, it's, really, it's, it's like really so looked fast. Like, yeah, he was swimming, New York player was swimming through the pool, but stopped by an Austrian yeah. player. The only difference is that they're putting the bringing the ball more to the surface than, than Colombia workers are doing it, and that they're a bit, so I can say, less organized in terms of attacking the goal. It's a bit, yeah. There's a mix up between, uh, as King, you can say, a st st typical Central European and the Colombian style, what New York is playing here. Yeah, and they don't have the. the cohesive uh, uh, structure we see with the yeah, old cars. Yeah, that's true, that's true. But nevertheless, uh, Newark is, uh, is someone you have to uh, count on in this uh, game, especially when they get new the, the basket. Mm. And they try now to, to build their offense, but uh, the, the forechecking of uh, Austria is quite well. Quite they well. interrupt uh, the, the passes. And uh, now uh, two, uh, two players from Newark try to attack. They break up their attack, and there's another player waiting on the close side for his colleagues to go down so he can uh, <coughs> go with them into the attack on the basket. They were in the corner side, close side of the pool of the Austrian basket. And it's 3 minutes 55 left here in the, the first half, yes. In the first half of Newark from the AS in blue against uh, Austria from uh, Vienna in white. Oh, this was a oh, oh this was a big situation. mistake. Yeah, this is a dangerous very, situation. Very dangerous situation. The, the goalkeeper did uh, not keep hold of the ball, but tried to push it away, and uh, the new player was swimming directly into it. Yeah. And oh, there's a that probably the best chance. Ah, there's a goalkeeper. This both both situations we've seen yeah. right here was in the last second saved by yeah. the Austrians. Was very close. The goalkeepers in the last second uh, were on the basket. So, uh, yeah, new walk is dangerous. Call from the referee, holding without ball, free throw against new walk. Holding, wide free throw. Um, two minutes, 45, 47 left in this uh, first half again it's also getting a bit more wrestling here you can see here is two oh, Vienna in, in position with the ball and now it's uh, but there's no clear clear attack I can see not from both teams it was the best chance so far maybe for the Newark team we had a couple of minutes ago with this big mistake from the from the Vienna goalkeeper we, should, we need to say mistake because he did he left the goal to, to, to he touch was undecided. the ball. He was undecided yeah. what to do. And then, and, and then he, he could not get the, 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 um, the control of the ball. And, and, and it was a very, very, very critical situation here. But uh, Vienna wants to score here. They are not playing around. They That's go true. for the goal. Uh, but they cannot break through. They're tackled away. They're pushed uh, uh, away before they can even uh, reach the goalkeeper. They're keeper. quite impressed by the... By the New World four check as a team slide. Oh, now it's a chance. No, uh, there, there was no defender. Oh, oh, he, it's a good way. Uh, you can see them as 13, the captain in the clinch with the Colombian player number, uh, the New York player number 38. And, and there's a faster play. attack. All right. But it's quite good. Both teams are having a good defense, having holding their positions and playing very defense oriented you can see here that the zero in the game not receiving not getting the first goal is the most important strategy for both teams so both teams are at least taking into account that they could go into penalty shooting and both are probably yeah, would prefer that to go into penalty instead of uh, losing the or receiving a goal because of course within a game if you're, if you're getting here in this competition a goal it's, it's very hard to catch up now it's uh, less than and a minute. A good opportunity now for Newark. It was a great pass. He attacked. He's still in his position. Maybe getting the ball. What's down. missing is the second wave coming yeah, in. Yeah. So the two players push in. And if they don't succeed, they go out totally. And it takes a long time to recover and uh, attack again. But still, the level and the speed of the team of these both teams is, is, is quite impressive. Yeah, it's so high. it's very nice. Yeah. It's nice to see that. And they're playing a lot of close to the crowd. 
Yeah, especially in New York, having a lot of players underwater. And Vienna is very concentrated and focused in their defense. Oh, no, oh, there's a, a good, good chance. chance. Oh, crazy. It was uh, the one of the players from New York was trying to come from the close side over the basket. And there was a uh, player waiting on the open side. But uh, the ball was pushed away into the open. And now it's, uh, it's half time. break for the halftime. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I think the chances uh, of uh, the... The chances of Newark for scoring are higher yep. than uh, the one for uh, Austria. We've seen two opportunities from Newark. They could be very clearly defended by, uh, by Vienna, but we have seen also two very good opportunities. Mm -hmm. A lot of luck within. And uh, yeah, but both both was based on on the goalkeeper kind of goalkeeper mistake or mispositioning. So Vienna should focus on, on keeping this position because it, it seems like. Newark is struggling in scoring, and as long as they keep a very focused goalkeeper the and the defender, uh, uh, at least maybe they can defend uh, the, yeah. the zero. Yep, I agree. And uh, it, it's also um, Newark seems a little bit uh, better conditioned uh, than Austria in the yeah. speed and uh, the time they spent uh, swimming in the high speed through the through the pool and this could be a deal breaker for New York if they succeed in uh, doing a, a fast, count, fast counter attack yeah. and having a one on one or two two situation uh, this could be a deal breaker for New York but let's see Austria uh, now realized in the what kind of the game they are in and uh, maybe they change the strategy and go more in the offensive to to deal with uh, New York One minute 15 left here in the when we start the second half of uh, Newark US in blue against uh, Austria Vienna in the white and it's still a zero zero. It seems like Vienna is, is, is already ready to start the game so it seems that there's not a lot to talk about maybe there are not so disappointed with the situation in the first half. They, they had maybe one, two close opportunities, not really very, very important uh, chances to score, but they worked for it and they try and work and they continue and this and maybe happen uh, that one of these one of these uh, efforts are going into into the goal, right? changing the goal. I know. We can see. Referees are now getting ready. You see, we are going to have one at near referee. I mean, he doesn't have a tank. He's more flexible. It's something used more frequently in Scandinavia. Notice that we can see a referee with a tank. So he's at least directly at the crown with a good feud to the basket. Both has advantages and disadvantages. Yeah. So we can see now Team's getting it's ready, quiet. and uh, that's it. Uh. Signal for start of the game. Uh, and that's a common trick uh, from one player pushing the ball up to a waiting player uh, swimming above him. But uh, New York intercepted the pass, and we see now a, a close one on one fight in the middle of the pool, back and forth. And uh, the forechecking of Vienna tries to stop the advance of the new York players but they don't succeed and we are already in the half uh, around the area of the Austrian basket but uh, the Austrian defense is quite wide awake they did a fast uh, move and the ball is now in Austrian mm. Austrian Austrian position possession and Austria is going for the attack this no, is a no. two on two uh, situation. Oh, there's a good chance it was Thomas Schenkel trying to bring the ball down under the defender. On the close side yeah. where his was colleague was waiting. Close opportunity and uh, he didn't have the, the luck to get the ball through, but the idea was, was very good. What smart tricks and there's a referee call. Uh, the ball was outside the area. Outside. Mm -hmm. right, free throw. It's a free throw for uh, Austria. And there's already an Austrian player waiting at the Newark basket. Mm. 
timeout for Blue. So mm. New York took a timeout. It's interesting because we only uh, played just a couple of yeah, seconds. Oh. Just maybe a minute or two second in, half. in the second half. And even it's a, it's a three throw favor for the opponent. It was a quite unusual situation. I don't know what they need to. Because normally to you arrange. discuss what you have to discuss in the, in yeah. the break. And even you see it here that, that they have a timeout, but no one is coming here. So there are six players still stay sitting on the bench. It's just the six players um, having the talk about maybe how to continue. Interesting situation. It was very strange. Even the the referee is bored. He's sitting no. uh, on the pool, uh, bottom, chilling. Yeah. But this was okay. Let's see what's going on. Maybe they're trying out something. Or they had a maybe they have, yeah, maybe they have a match trick in their pocket. Eight minutes, uh, thirty-three, uh, so thirty-four minutes. One minute, one flat. minute, twenty-five, twenty-six seconds. And then we made already the break from coming from a fresh. Refresh your halftime break. So, so right. Austria is taking position around the New York basket. And here we go. Call from the referee. The execution was not mm. right. Now it's favor for blue, maybe pushing at the goal. Or the, the yeah. ball carrier moved too yeah. fast. Uh, too, too, oh, too uh, fast moved. Yeah. The, ball, the, ball, the ball was probably not free and he still made the pass. Hmm. Let's see what, what what they can do. They have taken the time out. So what they want to do now? It's a favor for for the USA. You now they're playing here, passing around. Hmm. It's not really cl not clear to see what their plan is so far. To play directly in front of the goal. Yeah, no, they're losing the ball. What well, the ball was yeah. really easily intercepted by Austria. Yeah. Now Austria is going for a counter-attack to the U.S. Uh, basket. Yeah. But uh, pa this pass from Austria was intercepted to to this time by America. And uh, we are on the way to the Austrian um, basket. Four checking was quite good, but uh, when the two four checkers go up, uh, the New York player is already through, almost through. Oh, the ball was snatched out of the hand of the New York player coming up. One Austrian player was waiting on the surface. And now uh, New York is back in uh, ball position, trying to attack now. And with one player coming from the open side, the ball uh, yeah, holding man. behind his back into the hands of, uh, of his colleague. And the oh, it's was it. that's a chance and that's a oh. goal. Very well executed in three yeah. the waves very this closely behind time. each other. Really, Very well done from the open side that's into the basket. The first time this team was starting to make one wave, a second and a third wave to score. This was really, really this, was, this, was a, this was a really nice Picture goal. book, picture yeah. book uh, attack. Uh, great soft and, soft and, and open basket and into it. Well, to be honest, I've not expected such such a move from, yes, from, me too. from the, the USA team at this point. I don't know if it was accidentally happening or they really trained that. But uh, it started quite unclear, uncertain. And there was one one guy was a bit trying. The second one made a really proper attack. And the third one had just the open goal in front of him. So we have to build the ball in. Six minutes left uh, in the second half. Yeah. and. Uh, New York is leading with a 1-0. Um but just to just to remember what I said in the, the halftime break, this was ex exactly what Vienna has needed to to avoid the, the goalkeeper is missing. But because if the goalkeeper will have been on the goal, it may be probably that the USA has not scored because their scoring technique looked you know, very efficient. But they they left it, so it was very easy for them just to put a ball inside. It was like a kind of press and, and yeah. Now uh, New York seems to have a push, uh, motivational push, uh, and they they want to score more. Again, we are at the Austrian basket, and uh, New York is attacking heavily, but uh, passes intercepted by Austria, and Austria tries to break free, but is stopped by heavy forechecking from the uh, American players in the middle of the pool. We know at the surface. And here comes a New York player, and there's a call from the mm. referee. Uh, it looks like it would be the deck throw. referee. Blue free throw. Head. I'm taking the head. Mm. So it's a free throw for America Five against 
Time out wide here. Okay. Both teams are taking a timeout when there's a, a favor against them. I don't know, as a coach, I'm, I'm, I'm coaching the, the junior national team since 2008. Is there some pattern or some strategies or some situation really try to avoid uh, to give when the opponent is in a favor to give him an additional favor by giving the time to to take a brief and to decide and to speak about what they're going to do uh, after the time time out so um i don't know if, if they can compensate it by, by just taking our brief and organi organizing the defense a bit better i don't know if the pressure was that big in that situation that they really need to have the time out to break through but they took they took the time out yeah at least every team is having one timeout in the entire game, not per, per half of the game, but just for the full game. So this is a different to the normal rules, uh, some adjustment here within the rule book here in the Champions Cup. Um, so there's no timeout left, but 4 minutes 40 to play. So um, Austria really have to uh, step up now, at least to uh, equalize and to score once. And if they want to win, they really have to put uh, more energy in the water now. New work is attacking. And uh, they, they oh, this was a really good, good move. Really good move. But here you see through his own uh, uh, legs. Um, yeah. And he was already at the goalkeeper, at the Austrian goalkeeper, and ready to push him up. But he didn't do it. He didn't execute it. And uh, But have you seen the goalkeeper was on the goal and he could not score? It's they need to work on their, on their scoring technique, I think, because, yeah, the it takes New too York long. Newark is really uh, uh, going in for the, for the Austrian goal, but now There's Austria has the ball, play. and we see an uh, Austrian player trying to break free through the forechecking of Newark. But uh, he was all alone, and it, it took too long for his colleagues to come to the, to the rescue. It's a free throw against Austria now in 3 minutes 25 less than one of the American players stole the basket from Austria. But it looks like uh, Newark Let's takes their time. Let's see if they can bring the ball now before the player now there's a, there's a wrestling. They lost the ball. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of pity that they, they have such a chance and then... They should speed up more in that moment. Up, yeah. So but Austria uh, is trying to go in. Uh, and uh, we have an uh, Austrian player on the open side trying to push into the defense. He got kicked by Newark. No call from the referee. Just a free throw, is it? No. Two minutes? No. Was it? No, there was no sign. Yeah. No, yes, it's a, now it's a free throw against Newark. Uh, well, sh it should be because of the kick into the face. The 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 they lost the ball. But probably the, the... So again, free throw for uh, Austria. That's a good chance for them uh, to go for the basket of the Americans and here we are we have one player ah that was uh, the pass didn't go that the way it planned uh, into his hands and there's another one waiting on the front side of the basket down under the goalkeeper and now there's uh, he's still waiting there on the on the close side but no pass went through to him One minute 46 left. Call from the referees. Wide, free holding. Wide three free throw for holding. So Austrian should execute the, these free throws faster and go in faster. Call from the referee again. I don't know what's here. What's wrong with the referees? But I think it's not a question of referees. Pushing without the ball. Blue free throw. Oh, blue free throw. Okay. okay, it's a free throw for uh, Newark against Austria. And Newark goes in really fast. 
one player diving down, giving the passing the ball forward, and then leaving, and that leaves the attacker alone uh, on the other side of the close side of the basket. And he's under heavy forechecking attack, defending attack from the Austrian team. And there's still a new oh, player oh, waiting oh, on the oh, no, no, That could be a chance. There's yes, it. Yeah. it. And it's a gangle. The goalkeeper left his position. It's a pity. It's, it's so sad for Blue the Vienna goal. team because they're doing a so good job. Blue and goal. Just by, by not taking the goalie position, they received now two goals. But on the other side, you were saying made a really good job to bring them on such a pressure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, it looks very easy. It looks. It's easy to say as a commentator, you need to stay there. You need to lay down. Absolutely. But but of course, this is a it's maybe the main difference between the really good teams and some weaker teams that, that the other girl is, is, is still waiting there, not leaving the position until, until the, the change player is coming and taking the position for him. And if we talk about uh, about mistakes, it's it's easy to say when you yeah. watch it here. Of course. But being in the game and see it differently, game over, and you walk it over 2-0 against uh, Austria. But I think this is, this is all right. So the, the USA was... The, the more more active team here, they, they had more the, the ball, um, that better actions and opportunities. So this is quite okay. The and, this and the first game anyway. was really hard fought yeah. for and very well done. All right. Thank you very much, Thorsten. See Thank you later. You.